Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this t-shirt slash clothing business Shopify website. This website is perfect for apparel, clothing, and t-shirt businesses. This website design is also desktop and mobile responsive, so it looks perfect on mobile devices. In this video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store and then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes. And I'm going to be installing the original Dawn theme. And this is going to be the base for our website. Then you're going to click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen preview. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. First, I'm going to click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to middle center. This way, our logo will display in the center of the website. When you scroll down, then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header and right here, you can remove that effect. You can also select always if you would like the header to remain at the top of the website when customers are scrolling. Click theme settings, then logo. Here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. Then under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. I'm gonna click on this announcement bar. Then I'm gonna set this to color scheme three. Then you're gonna open colors, then color scheme three, and I'm gonna set the background to a black background. Then right here, you can retitle the announcement bar text. You can also select the link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Then I'm gonna click add section and I'm gonna add another announcement bar. You're gonna position this right below the main announcement bar. Then I'm gonna set this to color scheme one and display the social media icons. Next, you're gonna click theme settings, then social media. Here you can paste the links to your brand's social media pages and those clickable social media icons will display up here on this announcement bar and down here on the footer of your website. Then I'm gonna remove this secondary announcement bar text. Next, I'm gonna open typography and I'll be changing this main font to the font Archivo Narrow Bold. Then you're gonna change this secondary font to the font Assistant Bold. When customers click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, this will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're gonna open Shopify, then go to online store and then navigation. Open your main menu. And here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the header portion of the website. And next, I'll be showing you how I designed the slideshow section. To design the slideshow section of the website, right here, I'm going to import a slideshow. Then I'm going to scroll down and remove this image banner. I'm also going to remove this default featured collection. I'm going to remove this heading, the subheading, and the container. Then you can retitle this button label and select the link leading to a page or a specific collection within your website. And under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for this second slide. And for this slide under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Click add block. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for this third slide. For this slide under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. All right, I've opened Canva and I'm going to click custom size. And the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. Click elements, then upload a square shape. I'm going to change this to a pink color. Then I'm going to scroll down and upload an image grid. Then under upload files, you can upload your brand photos straight from your computer. Then you're just going to drag and drop one of those onto this image grid. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then I'm going to apply the font to Brittany. Upload another text box. I'm going to put this in uppercase and then you're going to apply the font Betas Niu. I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text right below it. Next, you're going to duplicate this square shape and you can also duplicate this image grid. Click add page. Then I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this image box. Then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to position it behind that main image. Then I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to copy and paste this text box. Then you're going to click add page. I'm going to copy and paste this image box. I'm going to upload a text box, apply the font to Brittany. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this text box onto this page. This last step is optional, but I'm going to search for a faded rectangle element and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. And that will help to add a subtle shadow effect at the top of the page. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this onto each page. 
Once you're finished, you're gonna download each of these pages individually in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image, then upload that main web banner design. Under slide height, I'm gonna set this to adapter first image. Then you can upload the remaining web banner pages. I'm gonna set the pagination style to dots. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow section of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time, and I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the collection list. So right here, I'm going to import a rich text, and I'm going to remove the text and the button label. Then I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Below that, I'm going to insert another rich text, and I'm going to remove the subheading and the button label. Below that section, I'm gonna import a collection list. You're gonna remove the heading text, and I'm gonna set the image ratio to portrait. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile, and you can also enable the view all button if your store has more than three collections. I'm gonna set this heading text to large, then for this border, I'm gonna duplicate this and position it below the collection list. That will create a black border for this section. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to select each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your products on your store organized. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed those collection covers. Back here on Canva, I'm gonna click custom size and the dimensions I'm gonna do for the collection covers are 1179 by 1473 pixels. You're gonna click elements, then upload an image grid. Then I'm gonna change the page background color to black. I've searched for another faded element and I'm gonna upload one of these onto the page. Next, I'm gonna upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Babies Knee You. Then you can duplicate this page to represent those three featured collections, or you can duplicate it as many times as you need to represent all the collections you have. Then you can drag and drop pictures to represent each of those collections. Once you're finished, you're gonna download each of these pages individually. Then when you open your Shopify dashboard, you're gonna click products, then collections, and you can open an existing collection or create a new one. Then right here under image is where you can upload that collection cover image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the collection list section. And here is how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the About Us section. Right here, I'm gonna import an image banner. Then I'm gonna remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. I'm gonna set this to color scheme two. Then I'm gonna open color scheme two and I'm gonna change the background to a pink color. I'm gonna change the text to white, the solid button background to white, the solid button label to black, and the outline button to white. Then you can retitle this section and insert your About Us section text. I'm gonna remove the second button label, then retitle the first button label and select a link. You're gonna scroll up and click on this bar section. I'm gonna duplicate this, then position this right below the About Us section. That will create another outline. Back here on Canva, you're gonna open that same web banner page and click Add Page. I'm gonna set the background to a light pink color, then I'm gonna upload another one of those faded elements. You're gonna upload a square shape, and I'm gonna upload an image grid. You're gonna upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business. I'm gonna put this in bold and apply the font to Babies New. Then I'm gonna position this behind that image box. Then I'm gonna create two more versions of that text box in vertical formats. Then you can drag and drop the brand picture that you're gonna to use to represent this section. And then you're gonna download this page and you're gonna upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm gonna apply the zoom in on scroll. And also under banner heights, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the about us section. And also here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the shop qualities section. Right here, I'm gonna import a multi-column. I'm gonna remove the heading and the button label. Then I'm gonna remove the secondary background and set the column alignment to center. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. When you click on a column, 
Under heading, you can list three shop qualities that your store offers. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed those icons. Here on Canva, you're gonna open that same web banner page and click add page. Under elements, you're gonna upload a circle shape. Then you're gonna duplicate this. Next, you're gonna upload a faded circle element, and this will add a bit of dimension to this circle icon. Then you can search for icons to match those shop qualities and upload them onto the page. When you're done, you can download each of these pages individually. And here on Shopify, you're gonna click select image and upload each of those icons. Under image width, I'm gonna set this to half width of column. And once you're done, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the Featured Product Collection. Right here, I'm going to import a Featured Collection. Then you can retitle this section. You're going to enable the Swipe on Mobile. And also, you're going to want to enable the View All button if you have more than four products in that collection. I'm going to set this to Color Scheme 4. Then you're going to open Color Scheme 4. And I'm going to apply a gradient to background effect. I'm going to set this gradient to a light pink and a white ombre. You're gonna change the text to black and the outline button to black. Then when you click select collection, it will allow you to choose which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured product collection. And here is how this section is gonna look on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the displayed customer reviews section. I'm gonna import a multi-column. Then I'm gonna increase the number of columns to four. I'm gonna remove the button label. Then you can retitle the heading. I'm going to set the column alignment to center, then enable the swipe on mobile. When you click on a column, under heading, I'll be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the customer's review. I'll be using this text as an example, and I'd recommend putting the customer's name in bold, and you can also insert a link leading straight to the product they left their review on. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured customer reviews section. And also, here's how this section will look on mobile devices. Next, I'm gonna show you how to design the second web banner section. First, I'm gonna import an image banner. I'm gonna remove the second button label, then apply the outline button style. Then you can retitle this section. Here on Canva, you're gonna open that same web banner page and click add page. You're gonna upload a square shape, then upload an image grid. Then you're gonna duplicate this. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. I'm gonna upload a text box. Put this in bold, then apply the font to Baby's New. Then you're gonna apply the lift effect. Then you can download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section. And here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I added the email signup and the featured blog post section. First, I'm gonna import an email signup. I'm gonna set this to color scheme three, then you can retitle this section. Next, I'm gonna import a multi-row. I'm gonna remove this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. When you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title for that featured blog post. I'll be using this text as an example, and you can also put a mini description and a caption to match. Next, you can retitle these button labels and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're finished, that's how I added the email signup in the featured blog post section. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna show you how I designed the Instagram post section. First, I'm gonna import an image banner, and I'm gonna remove the text and the button labels. Then I'm gonna import a rich text, and I'm gonna remove the text. Next, you can retitle this button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Here on Canva, you're gonna click add page. Under elements, you're gonna upload an image frame. Then I'm gonna duplicate this and position it behind that main frame. And I'll be designing this page in a stair step pattern. Under upload files, you can upload the Instagram post that you'll be featuring and just drag and drop them onto those frames. You're gonna search for an Instagram icon and upload one of these. Then I'm gonna reduce the opacity. Upload a text box, then apply the font to Britney. Upload another text box, put this in bold, then apply the font to Beavis and You. I'm gonna duplicate this, and for this last text box, you can type in your Instagram username. Then you're gonna download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm gonna set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured Instagram post section. And also, here's how this section looks on mobile. 
And here's the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.